Hello, welcome to module three or video three of Fields of Fire Vassal. Um, I'm Colin, I read the mod, uh, and I'm just going to walk through something. So you've hopefully seen the other two, which is just the interface and looking at some of the functionality. Uh, this one you'll see I've just set up a very basic scenario. Uh, it's Normandy. Um, you've got the company at the bottom on the staging area. Um, I've and zoom i've gone in and as i said last one i've changed the ammunition states to show the relative ammunition on the various weapon systems uh, i haven't done the allocation with colors um i can do that now he can be in part of the blue platoon which is the one on the left um and so it's a tiny map uh what i haven't really thought this through if i'm honest um but what i'm going to do is uh, basically advance onto this first row hopefully contact something or someone um, and we can see some of the functionality. Um, I will play it through relatively quickly um, and see what happens. So obviously the first thing that happens, uh, company HQ draws two commands. Um, so I'm gonna use one of those commands to activate two platoon headquarters, who will then draw their own. They draw two as well. So they're gonna use one to um, split off an assault team from this section. Um, assault teams used to recce tends to be a good idea because you don't walk a whole section or a whole platoon into a minefield. So um, so I could uh, place um, a unit, an assault team here, or possibly the easiest way, because I then have to reduce one of these. Um, I'm actually going to inflict a, an assault hit on this section. And so what that's done is basically created an assault team and reduced that to two steps, which is basically what I'm going to do. Uh, one thing as well, just for the purposes of the scenario, um, everybody's line. I'm not going to mess around with that. I'm not bothering with the um, in-command radio uh, commands for this one. I'll try and keep it simple and quick. Okay, so that's one of the two commands that he had. Sorry, I should also do that on here. So company commander have two, um, and then two platoon have two. So they've used one to um, create the um, assault team, and then they use the other one, moving them back here and marking them complete, to... Uh, send the assault team forward. So the assault team go forward, um, obviously that becomes exposed, so you can mark him exposed. Uh, and in the um, turn uh, later, when you get down to this um, 3.7.2, evaluate potential contacts, we'll, we'll find out if he makes a contact. Um, and then to try and make something else happen, the other company command activation will be of uh, three platoon over here, um, so three platoon HQ, great, going really well, uh, draws one, um, and to save messing around, I'll send the whole section up just to make sure that we get some sort of contact in a reasonable time. Okay, and they're exposed as well. Um, go back to the command display. Uh, that was the two company commander moves. Three platoon got one and then came back down. So they're flipped. Uh, and the company commander has now run out of um, uh, activations. Okay, so you then, uh, again, remember you've got the turn sequence here. We've run through this. This was the company headquarters impulses um, and the activation segment. Uh, we now go into the initiative segment because I've got no more commands to allocate. Uh, there wasn't an enemy, uh, sorry, a friendly higher HQ phase because it's the first turn. So, um, so one platoon haven't done anything. So they draw commands. They read this one because they're not being ordered. This is their initiative. So they get two. Um, and again, I'll just send a section up, see what happens. Um, and then, uh, there's one platoon gone. There it is, one platoon, um, and I'll actually save a command for them. Um, and then first sergeant and XO, uh, they just, they don't draw, they just get given a point um, and go back to the command display. I'm just gonna save commands for them. That way for now. Um, you'll see I've not messed around with assets. Um, I personally rarely use smoke for orders and things. Um, I know it's a, a key part of the game. I never used it. I'm an ex. I'm a veteran. I never use smoke to signal. Um, so, uh, so I don't tend to do it, and I forget. Um, but feel free to do that. But you'd have to allocate that. You'd have to pre-program the, the instructions, etc. Okay, so that's the end of that phase. You then get the um, general, initi general initiative phase. So down here, 
we've run through all these, the impulses, and we're now on the general initiative impulse. Um, so again, two points. Okay, so what we'll do, we will look for cover. Uh, who's in bad cover? Oops, excuse that. Um, uh, so this um, assault team will look for cover. So he draws three cards looking for um, a cover. One, two, three. No, so he fails. Uh, and then this one over here, we'll do next. He can also search for cover. He gets four draws. One, and we're looking for cover here. Two, three. Yep, yeah, there's one and the fourth one. Okay, so we can place cover. So he just gets a plus one cover. I was saying earlier, I tend to do it this way. I, you know, some people would stack it like that. Um, I tend to um, make them grab each other. Um, I tend to do them left to right so I can see who's under there. Okay, so that's the uh, general initiative. We then uh, come up here. Um, there's no high, uh, enemy HQ. There's no enemy activity checks. There's none on there. No mutual capture, no vehicle, no boss. Um, evaluate potential contact markers. Okay, so these are all Bs, so they get um, uh, randomly selected which one. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a card, look at the three, and see which one uh, we look at resolving first. Uh, number two, so that's this one in the middle. Um, I also, uh, having done that, just remembered, uh, so activity level is no contact. So theoretically, the company commander should and all the other commanders should get an extra um, command point um, because when you are doing, oh geez, when you are doing the draws for command draw modifications here, um, if you are no contact, they would get a, they would get an extra point. So that's that's an error on my part. Um, I don't care. Um, don't worry too much about making mistakes when you're playing. Put it down to a bit of faff, and they were still doing something else. I would. Um, you could go back and obviously add add one to each of their things on the command thing, but I'm not going to bother. So uh, potential contact B. So again, look on the charts, enemy contact, potential contact. We're in no contact. Enemy B is an auto. So we have automatically triggered um, a contact. So we're going to draw a card and look on uh, 10, random number 10. So that's three. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use, excuse me, I'm just going to use the Normandy one, uh, as I say, three mines and machine gun. <clears throat> okay, so we have found mines and machine gun, uh, and then another 10, um, just to have a look at that and see where they are. Placement, right front, max LOS. Okay, so what have we got? We have got... Um, a German. We want some Germans. Uh, it was a machine gun, so we'll take this machine gun team. And it was right front Max LOS, wasn't it? So we will put them on this card here. Uh, what does it say? It says they go into trenches. So again, I will place cover trenches against them. Uh, they do open fire, so I'll place a PDF, I'll put it on the bottom, and I'll move it there, and you can rotate, rotate it, <clears throat> like that. Uh, and they are an AVOF, so on this card now, I need to place an automatic weapons ROF. And that goes up against my assault team. Um, they are also uh, not spotted, so I'll put that there just to remind me not to fire them when they come. Uh, activity level, so again, you can play with this up here. So now we're under contact. You know that from this chart here, contact one occupied card is under a buff marker. Uh, as soon as we get the second card, we then go to engaged. Okay, so that's that. Oh, sorry, there's a mines as well, wasn't there? Uh, I'm gonna find that. Markers, mines, and so we'll put mines here as well. <clears throat> I can't for life me remember if you test mines at this point. Uh, I will leave it for now until we get to the uh, um, combat resolution. I can't remember if they count when you actually move into the map. 
So uh, that has then removed that. So we can get rid of um, that. Uh, one I've got as well actually might be useful in the marker pieces uh, under control. I've also made a cleared marker um, counter, which I tend to use. It sticks out. It's nice and obvious. And if you're, if the mission objectives are to clear a number of cards, it's quite easy to see this. Um, remember, if an enemy advances onto it or appears on it, then take it off again. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, we'll quickly look at um, a two random number to see which uh, PC to do next. That's number two. So that's this one over here. Contact B. Uh, under contact, that's five cards. So we will look for contact. One, two, three, four, contact, contact. Okay, so they also draw contact. Let me now see what they get. Okay, so it's three again. That's going to be another uh, machine gun and mine. And direction five. front at max LOS. Okay, so you can't go front because there's already a, a unit there. So we'll draw another one. That's front. So we basically need seven to ten. Nine, okay. So that is front right. Oops. Okay, so front right puts them over here, obviously out of our boundary, but still able to fire at us. Um, we'll get the LMG team ready in that, uh, and then we need a card. So again, draw it from this uh, at start deck. We'll place it there. It's only going to go this far because it's green boundaries. <clears throat> Put him there. He's also going to be in trenches like the other one. He's also going to be not spotted. So again, you can clone easily. Make a quick. Uh, we also hit mines, so we'll clone that as well for that over here. Um, he also we can clone this to keep it quick. He gets fired out from that direction, and he also gets an automatic buff. Okay, 